A computer is really just a collection of switches that can either be on or off. When we feed messages into this maze of switches, what we're doing is getting them to form various temporary patterns of ons and offs in the computer's memory. But we can't do this to all the switches because some of them have already been organized into preset patterns before the computer leaves the factory. These switches are stuck and they consist of permanent instructions on how to load programs, how to print things on the screen and so on. The computer can read this left half of its memory, but it can't write on it. It can't change it. It is therefore called read-only memory, or ROM. But the computer can, in a sense, write on the other half of its memory. This half is called random access memory, or RAM. Because the computer can write temporary messages anywhere it likes here, it has random access to this part of its memory. But if you switch the computer off and then on, the messages in its random access memory disappear. The loose switches are scrambled once again, whereas the instructions in the read-only memory stay as before. The switches are still stuck in the same position. Of course, you don't necessarily have to program messages into RAM yourself. You can load a ready-made program full of messages into it from a cassette or a disc. You can take the cassette or disc away and the messages will remain. But naturally, if you turn the computer off and then on, once again, the messages will disappear. But at least you've still got the originals on your cassette or floppy disk. So ROM is read-only memory, and it's permanent. It never forgets. Whereas RAM is both read and write memory, and it's temporary. It forgets at the flick of a switch.